When Ace Deck set out to make the brand new Nomad N1, it was ahead of its time, and I don't think that even they realized that it would be the most powerful production board on the market at its time. I mean, the speed, power, torque, it was insane. Like, really insane. I mean, this thing was crazy. 14S4P, Samsung 40T cells, the 90 amp ESC, these large 6384 motors, it just screamed performance. But the community wanted more. More range, more power, more carvability, the gear drive system, and uh, Ace Tech heard the community and they answered. This is the Nomad. Did Ace Deck deliver a board? What? <laughs> what is this thing? I have been testing out this board now for a few weeks and let me go ahead and tell you that it is fantastic. They have taken what the Nomad N1 predecessor was and just revamped and added onto a fantastic platform at its time. So let's go ahead and dive in a little further about the different models and what's going on inside of this board. So let me start off with, there are two different models, a standard edition, which is what I have here, and the elite version. The two difference really are the battery types and the motor types. Everything else is exactly the same. So the Nomad that I have here is the standard edition is a Molly Cell setup, while the elite setup is a Samsung 50E, also with the larger 6890 motors versus the 6384. We'll obviously dive in further into all of this in the later in the video. Let us go ahead and dive into what I believe made the Nomad the Nomad, which is this split angle deck system. They kept the split angle design overall with the nose upright, giving stability and carvability, and the rear is turned down, giving it a more stable locked in feeling. Now you can achieve split angles with multiple different ways, whether that's base plate angle adjustability, the deck physically being a split angle or wedging or de-wedging with actual little tiny wedges. So there are multitudes of different options. Obviously, Ace has gone ahead and chose this option here. And I can say that it is one of my favorite decks that's out there. It's comfortable now. The W concave overall, again, has been reduced. So it's not so much of a solid line in the middle. It's mellowed out and that gives you a much more comfortable feel. And then on top of it, some nice super squish foam padding helps reduce all those vibrations and long distance rides because this thing is a long distance beast. They also added width to the deck as well too. So not only did they remove the tapered on the back end there, made it one uniform, but they made it a little bit wider, so a larger standing platform. Again, this deck really is super comfortable now. This uh, W concave, which never bothered me on the N1, but some people over longer distance riding could definitely get some foot fatigue in the middle there. But they mellowed out this, this bowl right here, so your foot placement for, is really nice and locked in. The heel toe edge is raised up. And then again, with the raised nose and the drop down tail, giving you that absolute carvability and stability at high speeds, they really have done a fantastic job with this deck. Obviously, you can see the redesign is no longer just the bamboo. It is actually a carbon fiber with all the maple and carbon fiber series inside there. It is a big deck. So zero flexibility when it comes to this thing. So don't expect uh, any bounciness when you're riding down the road due to this. Now let us go ahead and slide down to the underbelly of the beast here. And wow, it is a major upgrade from the N1. This is an all new battery pack, like an insane battery pack like a 14S6P P42 Molly Cell battery pack. Ace Tech really went above and beyond on this one. 1,305 watt hours or 25.2 amp hours of battery power. That is almost as much as a 12S8P. A 12S8P being 1450 watt hours. This thing rivals that just about. But if that's kind of not enough range for you, then the Elite version has the Samsung 50E, which is actually 1,550 watt hours, which is more than a 12SAP. I truly am just blown away with the amount of battery power that we can fit inside of these boards these days. At 25.2 amp hours of power, I don't know if range is a problem anymore, especially if you're going with the Elite version at over 1,550 watt hours of power, 30 amp hours of power, just insane. And the metal, enclosure. This entire enclosure is made of metal. With this kind of classic-y up front here, I like this addition to it 
because it actually protects this LED light in here. So when you do power the board on, you have a white LED front and two blue LEDs on either side. So the Nomad N1 had this factor in there. I loved it, it was a great feature. Um, the white is bright, the blue is beautiful. It's a fantastic just street glow while you're riding around. The good part about that is too is that you can either have it on all the time, off, but no matter what, when you pull back on the brake, it will flash. So whether it's on or off, it'll always flash. It's a pretty cool feature and uh, they did a fantastic job in the direction of this battery pack. Let us talk about the redesigned ESC because they upgraded it, like a lot, like a lot. How much is a lot? Like 145 amps of power, a lot. I mean, they truly went ahead and made a massive upgrade to the ESC, not only in the amperage of the actual ESC from 90 to 145, but they remapped it completely. These hobby wing slash custom ESCs that are being produced nowadays are absolutely mind blowing from the original Lee Fock and other series that were out there. Very kind of a jerky motion and whatnot back then, but now the power delivery of this brand new N3 is smooth, like buttery smooth, like absolutely power from zero off the line just pulls all the way through. There's no more jerky launching off the end there, which I necessarily didn't mind. I like the instant torque. Mm. All of that though is completely customizable inside of the remote. So you can go into the remote and completely adjust your settings to what you as a rider want. If you like that instant torque off the line, go ahead and map it in there. But Ace Tech has really gone and made a much more customer friendly ESC. They started doing this on the Z3 and now with the N3, I would definitely say that they made a fantastic step in the right direction with this. Now, Ace Deck is claiming a top speed of 37 miles an hour, which I do not doubt that happening. I have hit 35 miles an hour top end speed on here before backing off and that wasn't even under full throttle acceleration. This board pulls and it pulls hard all the way from middle to the top end. So off the line got a little bit smoother, mid range got a lot more powerful and top end pulls all the way up to it. I don't know what to say other than if you are looking for a race board that's ready for you, Nomad N3 has kind of always fit that classification. And now with the bigger battery, it's also a range beast. Here I am showing off the four different levels of acceleration. This is low mode, where it tops out at around 11 miles per hour. This is eco mode, which tops out around 25 miles an hour with a slower acceleration. This is sport mode. Sport mode gives you a lot more juice off the line. Uh, overall, pretty fast. Two, one, go. Sport plus has been dialed back off the acceleration and gives you a lot more mid range to top end speed. Two, and here's one, all four go. stacked on top of each other. You can see that the acceleration on the sport plus pulls once it gets past a certain point. Now let's go ahead and talk about these trucks. These are Nomad's version four iteration. Now, as you can see on this thing, it is insanely CNC'd. I mean, this bridge-like structural skeletons inside there. Reminds you of scaffolding or bridge series. Uh, it's got the bits of carbon fiber in there. Beautiful CNC'd everything. I mean, absolutely insane. They made this traditional kingpin look like and feel like a double kingpin setup. Now, the one thing I will say is that with the actual bushings that they sent out were the 95As. Now, whether there was a mix-up in the actual durometer, I had ones that felt almost like 78A. So I swapped out my bushing setup for what the Riptide setup was. Definitely a game changer in my opinion. This made this board feel and snap so much better than anything else beforehand. So obviously I've said in other videos, I'll see, keep saying over again, Changing out your bushing setup will make a world of difference when it comes to your rideability and maneuverability on any board. The original Nomad was never lacking in power. Uh, the 6384 motors were incredibly torquey, fast off the line, and pulled all the way through. Some people didn't like that. Again, customizable in that sense. The brand new redesigned 6384 motors of 4,500 watts of these things are just butter and they made them smoother somehow. With the ESC remapping and the power output to it, it just feels like a different board. With that brand new ESC and these brand new element gear drives, the motors really have a chance to shine here and just deliver a lot of power to those wheels. Speaking of gear drives, these are the brand new Element 4.0 gear drives. They are the same system that they put on the brand new NYX Z3 off-road. If you haven't yet, go ahead and check out that video up here. But these things are fantastic. Steel on steel, hardened, heat treated, 
gear drive system with the 6061 aluminum outside enclosure, giving us a 30% reduction from the original Nomad N1 series. And these gear drives are quiet, like freakishly quiet. The original Nomad N1 was like a TIE fighter. That thing took off, you heard it, like spool up. This on the other hand is just quiet which is not a bad thing. If you're trying to be less obvious, ripping down the road at 37 miles an hour, it's definitely an option to do that. At the higher speeds, there is a hum. I don't know if it's necessarily even the tires per se, uh, but there is a winding up of kind of a small turbo noise, so take that. And the power output is smooth. It's a dream to ride. I mean, the dead band is completely removed from the original N1 that people had problems with. And again, that smoother ESC, powerful motors, and the brand new steel gear drives, it is a buttery smooth operation. This is just quiet. I can't get over how quiet it is. It really is quiet. So, hey, did I say it was quiet? These are the brand new Ace Deck and Hoda collaboration tires. 180 millimeter by 65 millimeter contact patch, allowing you to run a lower PSI of 28 PSI total. I prefer to run around the 26 to 27 to give it a little bit more of a flatter profile, but also have a slight hump in the middle. The beautiful thing about these tires is you can run them lower and lower if you want, giving you more grip on the track or play them a little higher and get better range results. It's all personal preference when it comes down to it. But these CNC hubs are gorgeous. They're just absolutely to die for. I, I keep saying that uh, Ace Tech has really gone above and beyond with the CNC on this and just truly mind-blowing amount of tech that's inside of this thing. The almost 3D style car out on the actual trucks, along with this system in here, they just have done next level performance when it comes to this board. So what has Ace Tech done? They've really answered the call to the community. People wanted more battery range, less W concave. They wanted the ability to go further and more powerful. Maybe even change out the uh, extreme 90 amp ESC with a smoother remapped version. Not only did that, but they made more power in the long run. I think that they really have focused in on what the community wants in general and made it their own. People wanted better turn radius, so they went ahead and did four different iterations of their new TKP trucks with fantastic turning radius. They wanted a grab bar, which you can actually pick up and drag behind you. They really have thought of a lot of new innovations and new designs and they've implemented them all inside of here. Now the number one question on your mind is, how much is this thing? The beautiful thing about that is that the 14S6P P42 Molly Cell Edition is, starts at $18,999. If you wanna go up to the Samsung 50E Edition, the more powerful motors and more range, you're gonna start at $21,99. I mean, big batteries, big range, new motors, new ESC, new revamped deck. This whole thing is redesigned from the ground up adding on to the fantastic N1 and just making it a little bit better in a lot of areas. Ace Tech has gone out and asked the community, they've returned with a product that, in my opinion, checks a lot of boxes for people. Range, power. That's really what we get asked all the time is how far does it go and how fast does it go? And this board does both really well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about cons because there are a few and one of them is actually the aesthetics that's on this thing. The N3 logo that's up here on the front, I kind of wish it just said Nomad, because if you're only looking at it from the top down, it says N3, but if you look at it from the right-hand side, it's WZ, or from the other side, it's 3N, or from the other side, it's ZM. It just, it was kind of an interesting choice on their part. Um, I get it, they wanted to stand out a little bit further, but obviously the black deck makes this thing already stand out from the N1. They could have just had something on there that said Ace Deck or Nomad, um, the N3 logo, eh, I, I could have uh, taken it or leave it in that sense. And if you are interested in purchasing this board, obviously check out that link down below. Code ACEDREW will save you money off and directly support this channel. And I really, truly do appreciate every single purchase you guys have made underneath that code. It has been a massive support for me and being able to push these videos further. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Once we hit 3,000 followers, I'm giving away Mad Wheel V2s, Beyond Rider jackets, shred lights, helmets. There's a whole mess of things coming. So if you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thumbs up this video. It helps get that content out to new viewers. And again, guys, your support has been absolutely fantastic. So until next time, wear a helmet. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.